Hello and welcome to Kate and Kat's podcast. We run our podcast a little differently than most. Our podcasts are completely spirit-led and we never know who we're going to have on or what's going to come up to heal. Every episode is a new adventure where we walk people through healing anything from spirit guides to past lives to inner child work, how the energies and trauma affect the mechanical workings of our physical bodies and exploring time, space, and dimensions and how it's all happening now. This podcast is for beginners and experts alike. This can be considered explicit content to some, as we do not edit ourselves. And sometimes deep trauma work comes up unexpectedly. And also we cuss like sailors. On this episode of Kate and Cat Live, we had the pleasure of working with Jennifer, or as Kate and I call her, horse girl. Because <laughs> of her former profession. This was such a fucking fun time and so much healing too. We started out by having another look into a layer of healing for Jennifer's skin. She had already healed so much about it, but sometimes it takes a few rounds to get it all. After that adventure, we ended up laughing our way into a past life that we shared together. So much fun to heal this way. Always so impactful. Without further ado, if you love bad bitches and that's your fucking problem, on with the podcast. Hey! Hi, everyone! Are you talking to me or them? You. Hi! Hi, guys! <laughs> You're talking to me or them? I'm oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> fucking great. Oh my god, hi! Are you talking to me? I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm talking to Jennifer. <laughs> oh my god. Let, the, let god. the hilarity and insanity in. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up, baby? What's going on? Oh, first I was I was so excited when you sent me the TikTok about the calendar. That like made my day. Dude, Kate came over because it got it got to her house first. We both ordered it at the same time. Of course, I ordered a proof, but she ordered a copy and I was like, don't we need to wait for the proof? She's like, I got too excited again. So she bought it. Hers came in first. <laughs> So she came over to show it to me and we opened it up or whatever. And then afterwards I had to send a voice, like a voice note to the chat. I was like, Hey, uh, to my our friend group. And I was like, um, my ears are popping. Like it's elevated really high and I'm really dizzy and, uh, I'm really hot. I don't know. I don't, I, I what, I'm trying to ground. I don't know what's going on. Really, really excited. I was really excited. I was actually doing an astrology reading when that text came in and I was like, <laughs> it made me well, really happy. Jennifer's Jennifer's part of the mentorship program, which if you guys don't know, like if you're part of the mentorship program, any new product that we come out with that month, they get a copy of it. So um you already have the Daily Healing Prompts 2 book on its way, the time travel log book, and you have the calendar as soon as I order it tonight. I'm so excited. I know. I anyway, 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 what do you want to work on? What do you want to work on? Actually, it's really weird. The skin stuff has flared up again. So, okay. like the eczema, like stuff. It's really weird when you said the skin stuff has flared up. I heard it, and then it was like, oh yes, the uh, skin cell research. So that's interesting. I would like to, you know. Well, that's not a shocker. You guys are usually in some sort of science lab or something during the guided adventures. So. Yeah. Also, yeah, usually I'm either in a science lab or I'm like some religious thing. It's like one or the other. <laughs> it's very bad. Or you're trading in dresses for pants or pants for dresses. Yes, there's that too. Fashionista. So that happens also. Yes. All right, let's go in. My three things. Skin cell research. Ready, go. All right. Okay. I mean, I had preconceived notions that we were going to be inside a lab. I don't necessarily feel like we are. I feel like we're in the jungle or some shit. Yeah, I feel like it's gathering something like to bring to a lab. If that feel, yeah. Sense. Oh, like, oh, like how um, uh, Cambo uses like tree, like the tree frog yeah. shit. Yep. 
Y'all didn't know I knew about that shit, did you? I do. I've done it. Um, oh, okay, you're looking up at the trees. They remind me of rubber trees. I don't know what that means. You have a dropper. What? You have a dropper. Yeah. Oh, but there's monkey sounds and like, whoa, like everywhere. And you're alone. And you're just like, I feel like you went in here fearlessly but also alone which is not so bright bro it wasn't super smart no like i know you're connected to the elements but like yeah it's very like i feel like it's almost like i chose to do this experimentation on my own it's not like a like a funded thing or like something that was like, oh, you need to go do this. I was like, I'm just going to do it. Like, what is this like? I think this is like the 40s or the 50s because you've got the the khaki, like hard hat here with the brim and the khaki shorts and you've got a, like a thing around your... Oh no, like I, have a, Steve, I have Steve Irwin shorts. Yes. <laughs> with the, the dropper too, that like it's really like... Are this you might be the 40s. The, are you collecting tree sap? Uh, I, feel like I feel like I'm supposed to be, but I don't know if I actually am. I, don't know, I you're feel like I'm distracted by like water pools or something. Yeah, you're just looking around like I feel very distracted. Oh, go to the earliest point of this then. Yeah. There we go. Try to try to yes, Nigel Thornberry. I don't try think to what I'm your dearest. But I can't see out of my eye. <laughs> this is your wow. hand, Nigel. I should repost that TikTok. It's real cute. Mm-hmm. Um, try to, like, because we're on a podcast, even though you do things in your head, will you say it out loud? Oh, yes. So, um, Spirit of the Highest Good, take me to the earliest point. Even in sessions, she does it in her head. It's just like, Oh. It is. It's, <laughs> it is. I'm just like, okay. So yeah, it's like my left eye just wants to be closed. Um, it's burning. My forehead's burning. Um, can you can you say um You're not near the jungle now. Can you yeah. say move your hand, Nigel? I don't know why. Okay. Nigel, remove your hand. Move your hand. Okay. Mortal woman. Okay. <laughs> I had to, even though it has nothing to do with the like the healing. It's still compelled. It's okay. very. It's it's the sap. It's the shit that you collected. But um, this is the earliest point. So how? Like what? Th- there is a dropper, and she is collecting tree tears. But this is not in the jungle. So where is this? Is this cactus juice then? Because we're in the desert. Three tears. She's like three tears. Oh uh, well, cactus. I think you squeeze them right, and they and they yeah, and they have like wa- you know, like water and stuff. So okay. Yeah. That makes sense. So that would make sense. Where so <laughs> Carolina's so, <laughs> oh jeez. So obviously I'm traveling and I'm collecting different samples for things. Well, why is this the earliest point? Because you need to go to the jungle. But okay, so this is like the most impactful point of the skin stuff and collect and the skill skin the skin cell research took us into you gathering tree tears. Yeah. Um why like did you have an allergic reaction to them before you even went into the lab? Back to the lab again. She messed up. Back to the lab again. Okay. Oh, no. I feel like I'm gathering something. It's like almost to undo something else. There is an owl hooting outside, and that is not my area. What? Uh, Deer running through my neighborhood, yes. Owl hooting? No. Nah. Okay, so that whole song back to the lab again is because Dee Dee fucked up his lab. Um, so can you do the number twelve to all this? Um, and the other mother healings. Mm-hmm. And then tense energy vampire cleanse. And the backdoor doorstop removal healings. 
Except door stop on my head. And your healing, I don't know what you named it, not the upside down one, which you can do, but the one where you collapsed. Oh, yeah. I, What'd you name it? I just called it like my collapsing healing. You did not. You just named it right now. I did just name it right now. Why are you lying to me? I didn't give it. I didn't give it a name. Like it just kind of was like okay, collapse, and it was like okay. Well, yeah, because you you haven't named something. I'm like that just makes sense. You haven't used it again, so there's like not really a purpose of naming it. So it's like okay, so collapsing. That's moving a shit ton. Yeah, speed this up. Speed this up. Um, and then I am going to do the upside down. I just feel like that makes sense for some reason. So, which, um, just to recap that we were, uh, we were working on something and, uh, Jennifer had a bunch of keys that came to her and she had to make sure it was just her keys and not everybody's. Cause they were like, all oh, coming to her. And she was like, Whoa, Whoa, Whoa. Uh, just mine, please. And, um, and then she was opening up the doors kind of like in nightmare before Christmas. And it was like different things and everything was topsy turvy and upside down and stuff. And she, she put it back basically to balance divine working order. And that had to do with, uh, Daylight savings time. That moved a lot. I feel like it's still good. To the gears, too. All of this to the gears. And to your lab. Yeah. Your research, everything. Everything you you're working on. really hate polyester lab coats. You know, that's really funny that you say that because... So, when... Where it's, it's not breathable and it's flammable also anyway go on yeah no because like horse shows we're supposed to when we go in with um the driving horses we're supposed to put a lab coat on because it's supposed to make sure like nobody has embroidered stuff promoting their stables or whatever and i would always break the rules and be like i can't wear one of those and i'd just be like i just can't and i refuse to buy one they're expensive too I refused to buy one. I was like, this is ridiculous. And I would just be like, I have nothing labeled. What are you going to do about it? And are you allergic to polyester? So, are you just, or is it just uncomfortable? No, I just thought it was stupid. <laughs> but I mean, in, but for real though, just in general. No, like I just literally thought they were dumb. And I was uh. like, this is ridiculous. There's no point in wearing this. No, oh, that's pretty, that's pretty on par. Like, I didn't want to wear a skirt, but I'm like, I'm just going to wear pants. Like, this is stupid. I'm not going to wear this. Because you're a fashionista yeah. and, like, a bunch of lives. So it's like, no. Yeah. It's not very fashionable. But not, like, in a stuck-up way. It just is like a, this is not the clothes to wear. This is yeah. not the clothes to wear. This is not it. This is not it. Who? I feel like you can merge with somebody because I want to say merge with Jane Goodall, but it's not Jane Goodall. She talked to the monkeys. Yeah. Who the fuck? Nineteen <laughs> forties. Uh, nineteen. Oh, that's not going to search there. Oh. Who the hell is you? Is I know. who are you? I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, I'll look it up. What's next? Charlize what do we need to heal Theron? next? Is it like Charlize Theron? The actress? Uh-huh. Like, uh, with the giant ape. I don't oh, know like why. Like, of the apes kind of thing? No, it's yeah. Mighty Joe Young. Oh. But, but she's actually out there doing the things. Does she not? That doesn't matter? The movie. No, I don't remember the movie. Oh. I'm just like, is that, that was a question. I didn't okay. see it. Gotcha. Is, is it like Charlize Theron and Mighty Joe Young? My kid no. took the Google away on this phone. You can't, but I sounded really old, <laughs> which I don't normally care about. Hey, uh, this person, this person that you are cares about age. Is that why they're looking for the tree sap? Is that what the skin syrup is? Serum? Anti-aging. Yeah anti-aging oh and that's why the lab coat sucks it's like it's it's all aesthetic it's yep okay no no nothing tell them tell them where it is good align them with what they're actually looking for yeah okay so spirit's not as good please align me 
to align them with what they're actually are. It's weird. It's like they're like, no, this is what I want. It's like they're convinced that oh, like, what they yeah, but teach them how to do it. Like if you merge them and exchange you information, you don't actually have to go get a physical product. You could actually do like the age stuff. You could take fucking eggs and make it a skin. Like you could. I mean, it doesn't have to have. You could just infuse it energetically. Yeah. But I know you're, it looks like you're going to sell it too. So you definitely want like a, it's, a thing. Yeah, it's, there's like a money making factor to this. It's, but you're looking for it for sell first. Yes. But I don't think you trust anybody else to find it. I know. Oh, that's why I went in alone. I feel like you're actually looking for a fruit too, which is so odd. Oh, well, you can eat cactus too. So maybe that's part of the. Like, that would make sense if you're looking for something that's edible. Well, I mean, I, you probably discovered aloe. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people put aloe on their fucking face. Yeah. And sunburns and all that stuff. Hmm. I was going to say sunburns also, but I was like, that's probably just because I'm Florida. So, oh, interesting. So I wonder it's smoothing if stuff. for blistering, too. Okay, but why is it having a reaction now when you're physical? Like, what do we need to heal about that? And what is the reaction in your physical? So, in my current physical? You said it was like a skin I rash, right? I get blisters, like, on my hands. It's Comparable like, to really eczema. Itchy. Yeah, it's like an eczema, and it's, like, itchy, itchy, but then, like, blisters. Okay, it's probably from the bullshit product thing that you found. Yep. Whom the hell says prink a prickly pear has anti aging properties? Well, she's putting it in her fucking recipe, but <laughs> she's claiming it. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> she's discovering it now, even though you helped her. <laughs> Your acting spirit team in this. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, thanks. Bye. And oh, uh, yeah. Oh, look at this anti aging, anti anti inflammatory. Damn, baby, just find you some prickly pear. Shit. Yeah, I just need prickly pear. All the things. That's all we ever needed. That's all we ever needed. I didn't need to go to the jungle and get tree sap. I just needed the prickly pear from the jungle. I mean, not the jungle. The, uh... Baloo picks the prickly pear from the jungle. Oh, That's what he, just... he puts on his nail and he eats it. It's a prickly pear. Why anti-aging? Why not, like, neutralize it or remove it? Ooh, prickly pear margarita. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, so can Carolina we... says it's uh, not not anti-itch, though. Save. There you go. So, it's one of those, you know, because anti-aging was, like, the thing. Not just, like... Well, it makes I didn't it seem, even, like, bad. Like, I didn't even... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't even know my grandmother had a facelift until I was, like, well, in, in high school. I was like, what? She had a facelift? Shit. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Passion fruit. Jen's gem says passion fruit. Just saw a document about it. Or should I go to the jungle for the passion fruit? Or a different type of fruit? But you don't have to go at all. Yeah. But I was convinced that I had to go there. So that's I mean, interesting. You can connect to it and stuff. You can mer mer have that version of you merge in with its jungle forms. Okay, so please merge me. And exchange you information. Ow, that hurts my chest. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, that's like... Ooh. Yeah, that's so weird because I was getting like rapid heartbeat almost. I keep hearing the Baloo song. And go along not thinking about it, I'll tell you something true. <laughs> the bare necessities in life, they'll come to you. Bring it to you. Yep. Which you did in this uh, podcast yeah. live. Everybody in the comments. 
telling you, like spirit guide forms, downloading into your now moment. <laughs> and They'll come to you. Because you're doing for the, for them. Yeah. Bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. I gotta, I forget about your worries and your strife. I need your bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Speed this ver this guide of yours or this version of you sings to speed up the things. Oh, okay. Well, that's really interesting. Okay, what's next? All right. Is there anything else on the skin issue? Anything else on the skin issue? The dryness is what I got. Yeah, it's like flaky dry. It puts like, the lotion on its skin, or else it gets the hose again. So it's the skin, so it's like, um, is it, like, I, the only thing that keeps coming to me is, like, bare necessities, meaning, like, bare ingredients, like, bare... No, I think it's within you. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you had to merge with it. Um, Yeah. Can you go to the most impactful point about skin dry? I got the answer. I'm just seeing desert, like sand. Oh, I'm seeing um, over washing. Oh, when your hair, when your hands go like raw. Raw, which would be like sandpapery. Okay. Like, and it would feel like, yeah. Like, I think you had yeah. some kind of compulsive thing. Either the, and no, no, some kind of compulsive thing. It was like, if like your a mental hand, thing. Yeah, you did not like the oil on your hands in this life. So I think you need to um, put put the oil on yeah. you back to balance if I'm working order or update and upgrade it or something. Merge with that version of you first. Exchange yes. you information. Yeah. Exchange me information. This- John? This is making my left bicep hurt. Hmm. Oh, did somebody like fuck it up? Like grab. It's like a thumb in. You know how like underneath the muscle, like a mm, mm. Oh, like under somebody's thumb. Like I just was getting that like idea, like you're under someone's thumb. So like But it's but it's not under, it's for yeah. sh- it's like grabbing like a you someone know, trying you're... to pull you away from it it's not someone trying to make you do something it's someone trying to pull you away because it's very like uh, but uh, you don't need yeah like you're hyper focused and they're like "Mm -mm, you don't need to like you don't need to do that like that's an yeah it reminds me of like what a mom or a dad would be like there's this this is a fool's dream that kind of thing okay I'm going to update and upgrade. I think you were like so close for a really long time and it just wasn't right. And it, I think after a while, they were just like, you're wasting yeah, your time. This is stupid. Work. Yeah. Like, this is not a thing. Like, why do you keep sinking all your energy and time into this? And so, what's missing? Can you clean off what's missing and bring it to you? Because you brought everything to you. So, what was lost or stolen or whatever clean it up and bring it to you yeah so we're gonna go ahead and clean all that up whatever it is like self-doubt like it's it's a lot of like self. oh cleaning things off of me that other people put like that idea like the idea of factors mm-hmm. and, uh, yeah like the, so it's like that created the self-doubt and all the things and be okay and it's almost like it created like an overproduction of oil on your hands, and that's why you had to also clean it off. Oh. Also, I need to point out, I don't know why, but all three of us have different color hair, but it's so close to the same color right now, and I don't know why that's important. Oh. Does it have to do with, like, the oil and it not actually... Oh, can you do, like, the Intense Energy Vampire? Copy and paste what you did in the life for the... Not the, the jungle dragon, life for the jungle life to yeah. this life conducive. Okay, so that's this life conducive. Because it's so close to the oil that's on your hands. Okay. It's not your oil. Ah. Uh, 
Were you using fish oil or something? This is very much like jojoba oil, fish oil, like some kind of like, this oh. will help. This will help. Interesting. Yeah, I feel like I was trying things like grasping at straws. Very that. And it's okay. weird because like I went to a dermatologist and they were like, oh, you should try this. You should try this. And I was like, getting like, no, no, like, cause, but they were like, here's the list of things you should try. And I was like, I don't need to do that. Like, I I like, not. <laughs> you know, I, I was, uh, a, a couple of weeks ago, I'm just going to tell the story cause it's got to mean something or whatever. But a couple of weeks ago I asked chat GPT, um, I saw a TikTok and it was like, ask chat GPT, blah, 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 like a prompt. And I asked it like, basically what I was missing from my TikTok, like, what am I like? Am I doing something that I'm like? Could I be? Could I be doing more? Right? And it was like you should uh, collab with people, and I'm like I'm doing that, and they're like you should interact with your people. You should do story times. You should do uh, everything it said. Like you should try doing a podcast. You should blah blah blah. I even asked it. I was like, what's the general consistency of uh, Cat and Boots one three eight online? And they're like, oh, everybody really likes you and your healing codes, and everybody really. And I was like, then what am I missing? And it's like. You seem to be doing everything right. And then I just broke down crying because this was before we cleaned everything off. And I was like, I literally am doing everything I can and it's not enough. So that feels like that when you said you went to the doctor, that's what it felt like. And it's like, you should try this and this and this. And it's like, cool. Yeah. Cool. And I was like, hmm. Awesome. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what it was like, because they were like, oh, you can try this, and we have all these medications, and I was like, did you not understand that the last, like, medications that I ended up being prescribed, and, was me, and I ended up having to have two throat surgeries because of that? So, I was like, I'm kind of not about that. <laughs> do you need, like, this cream thing, this, like, skincare stuff, this medication, whatever, that you're making right now, do you need to put it out there? So that it's available for your now. Oh. And, but make sure you get residuals from it. And the spirit team people in the comments that helped you. Yes. A little to ching for them too. And push it forward and ripple it outwards. And make it clear that it's hers, the one that she needs. You could probably infuse yourself with it now too, but. All right, so it's like that, that moved a lot. Yeah, it's like really calm and cool and cool now. Yeah, I mean it's still warm, but like cool. But it feels cool in the way like if you put aloe on your skin, like you know, it's like that cooling sensation, but not in a like bad way. You know, like it just the like oh that's soothing. Like it feels soothing in a weird way. It's still super oily. It's like. My forehead's super oily. I'm, I don't have oily skin, so. Oh, apply it. No. Ah. So we're going to apply Ah. It literally put your oil back to balance down working order on your face. Well, that's cool. It's still moving on my end. I think it's cleaning out the old shit, too. In the pores and things. Yeah. yeah. Can you go to before it happens and then do this again? in this life? Yep. Oof. You know how there's like people use, um, I mean, there's lots of like skincare stuff that people use to clean off their skin. But for the longest time, it was that blue jar of Nev whatever the fuck, Nevia. Yes. That was whatever the fuck it is. Yes, that was all. And then there's all sorts of mascara, but for the longest time, everybody's used that pink mascara with that green fucking lid. And like, I don't use those, but I do use CoverGirl fucking foundation, which is like a classic. This feels like it's a classic where you don't even have to advertise it. Cause, I mean, you advertise it in the 80s when everybody advertised, but after that, it's like, just, this is just what everybody uses. Noxzema. Noxzema, thank you. 
or that powder uh that powder puff thing that has the gold and silver like floral things on it oh yeah setting powder the setting powder it feels like a staple like that okay that makes sense so yeah it's like just one of those things that end up most people it's like it feels like it's going to be a mandela effect because it's just going to be like th what this has always been around i uh, don't know what y'all are talking about on any of those oh um just popular um timeless uh skincare and beauty regimen stuff that was on like the television and things and in magazines did your um, parents tell you all about them or something too or your I had sisters older siblings and um cosmo magazine okay. and 17 magazine and mtv okay that makes sense i was like there's something i'm missing here because I you didn't watch about tv them. And you didn't have a I didn't have the you, family. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my mom had that stuff. She had those things floating around. And yeah, same thing. Saw all the commercials. So So it's gonna be one of those. It's just gonna be like a classic been around since the forties and you don't change the formula because you don't got it. It does the shit. Like it just works. Mm-hmm. All right. It feels good. Fuck. I keep wanting, like, I brought this device over here, but I can't get the widget to work on this because I wanted to, like, put a, um, I don't know why I'm having difficulty because I wanted to look stuff up because I knew I was going to want to, but it's not letting me, so. Must not be, yeah. Must not, yeah, must not be supposed to. Oh. All right, so that feels good. I don't think there needs to be anything else. Can you just ask in case, like, hey, yeah. is there anything else here? Yeah, anything else here? Okay. I found it. <laughs> I'm pretty positive. It was the very first search. W.T. Raleigh's Medicated Skin Cream, 1940s to 1950s. I don't know. It was the very first search. Huh. Okay. Is it still around? Is that your kind of packaging? Because it's jungle colors. And if it's not, then it's that's not what it is. I mean, it is jungle colors, but I... I but it's got to feel like you. No, that's just like, it feels, I don't know. I feel like it, I think I would have made it more like, like, I like blues. Like, it feels more blue. Not yeah. that one then. No, but it feels more like blue, white, like, or maybe, maybe white with a blue top or blue with a white top. Well, that would be ponds. And someone said ponds. Mm-hmm. Which is so, which is so funny because, like, I don't even think I use. I don't think I've ever used ponds. Well, maybe you should. <laughs> I wonder what's in it. But pond seems like aloe. It doesn't seem like it has any of the fruit stuff. This is like just a picture of like classic. Right. That's so funny because it's like the white and like the blue are the ones that like I'm like, oh, that would be something I'm naturally drawn to. <laughs> that oh yeah, because you do you do that teal color like on your yeah. Uh, website and stuff. Yeah, like those are colors that I naturally just kind of gravitate to. Okay, well let, we can go on to the next thing. I'm gonna look up yeah. ponds ingredients. All right. Uh, water, mineral oil, glycerin, cetyl alcohol, fragrance, hyaluronic. I'm not going to be able to pronounce this. Hyaluronic acid. Hi, it's H I H Y A L U R. Mm -hmm. Hyaluronic. Yeah. Okay. Uh, parabens. Okay. That's that's a preservative that's effective against molds and yeast. Um, idopropanol butylcarbamate. Huh. Is it so it doesn't congeal or whatever? Non-congealing agent, I guess. I guess. And then DM, DM hydration, a preservative that 
some consider controversial. Huh. Ooh. Okay. And then there's other, there's other, there's like s- something gum, which would be like from the tree and. Well, that, um, that's not a, that's not a Mandela effect. That's always been around, but maybe you should try ponds. Okay, maybe. And get, get residuals from it, damn it. Yes. And everybody else. That helps. Sprinkle that. Okay, what's, what's next? Okay. We got like half an hour. We could hit a whole nother adventure. I know, right? The other thing that is, you know what? I've had more fear stuff coming up around this firewalk training. Oh, okay. Let's let's look at yeah. it. So here it is from the highest good. Ooh, I don't know if I should go to most impactful point or it's just show me what I need to feel around fear around firewalking or firewalk training. Looks like it'll go to the same place. Okay. So fear around firewalking. Yeah, I'm just gonna go through firewalking. I think it's fear of success, Jennifer. Oh damn it! That so makes sense. Is that, that what you're sense. getting, Kate? Did you get the same? Um, I was just lifting a bunch of stuff. Oh, so not like um. With that, I was looking. Oh, I was looking underneath. Like, where is it? Where is it? Oh, okay. Okay. Like looking the layer. for it. Like, looking for it, like, where's the fear? Where is it? It's like... Because it combines all sorts of fast... Like, er every time that, like, you would come on a live or you go on the guided adventure or whatever, not anymore, because you're there more often, but I would be like, oh my god, yes, you have this modality and this modality and this modality and this modality, and this feels like the only thing that was missing from your spiritual practice was this corporate thing that you already had the corporate thing, but like mending it all to or merging it all together. Is that what you're afraid of? I think there's a physical aspect because like the other night I literally almost like emailed a guy being like, um, I, I have these physical limitations. And I was like, Whoa, what is this? And it's like a physical aspect of uh like not being able to like do the intensity of is it because it's on in a tv studio and not out in the woods well it's there's a bunch like we're doing different things every single day so like juggling fire and all that shit yes and i think the facet to oh now i'm seeing because i had a real hard time physically the first time i did it but you're not, you've even had surgery and stuff. You're not the same person. Right. But there must be something that. I'm Is that like, scar, scar tissue removal, you think? Would that take care of fear? that? It's also like a backlog, too. So, yeah. So okay. The scar tissue removal healing and the backlog healing of like, a, I'll do this when I have this, and I'll do this when I have this, and I have this, and I'll, and I'll do this. And so I'm doing it at that time. Yes. So here's my head good. Please apply the scar removal. Scar tissue removal. Scar tissue removal. There you go. That I said scar removal versus scar tissue. Well, it's interesting. Is there scars? So scars from physical things that I've had, but not from any fire walkway. I bet it's connected to that too then. You probably okay. have a scar removal healing. Like, if you said it. Right? Try, right. try doing it. Your scar yeah. removal healing. So, okay. Here it's high as good. Please apply the scar removal healing. That's moving a good bit. That's moving a lot. I can feel it in my back. Uh, yep, all over the back. It's all over the back. Which makes sense. Because of breaking my back. So that makes sense. And that was where I struggled with the last firework training. Like, You've already gone before to fix Because I was like, do we need to go before the back break? And I was like, no, we already did. No, we already did that. So that was like a whole thing. But now my back is like hurting in the middle of the back. I want to cry a little bit, but it's not emotional. It's exhaustion. I was so tired. 
I think maybe you healed a lot around exhaustion too. Yeah. And like burnout, I think. Oh, that's probably connected. uh, Like Kate said, like all that stuff too. Yeah. And the backlog, like I have to do the backlogs. Yeah. It's by the backlog. Oh, that's a lot. Speed that up. God dang. I went back to another lab. And like that song again, back to the lab again. Oh, Makes me want to uh, take the cord that's attached to my mic that I use during the guided adventures. I'm like, I've like had to like pull it in. But it reminds me um, not of pulling cords, but like fly fishing and pulling that in. And I don't know how that has to do with this. Um, can you merge this version of you and exchange you information? Yeah. And exchange me information with them. Oh, that was uh, a lot. It was like pulling yourself back. That fly fishing thing. It's not pulling it back with like desire. Like it's just very like the, the line is limp. That's what she said. And it's just like mm, pulling it in like it's fucking. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like tedious almost. Yes. Like, like that tedious like. Ugh. Um, Seven of Pinnacles energy, but with fly fishing. Oh, interesting. Okay. So weird. I don't fish. I don't, that's so interesting. It's this person, whatever I'm tuning into, doesn't like to fish either. <laughs> That's so weird. Maybe you should merge in with this fisherman aspect of you, whatever the fuck this oh, is. There we go. All right. So, is it about learning a new task? Because Kate and I both had that about like learning a new skill. Like, you become an expert at something and it's effortless. And you know that it's going to be good, but like learning a new fucking whatever the fuck is like god dang it and then you get in the flow and it's really fun but like it's fucking painful even when we made candles and when we made candles we were yes we were putting the energy into it but just getting the products for it and then pouring it we felt like we were like in labor pains Mm -hmm. it it was just it's just so much new and i think it's why so many people don't learn new skills is because it fucking hurts and that's why we have so many like books and cards and candles and products and stuff because we've healed the part of like we the labor hurt. pains of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. I think that's a, that makes a lot of sense because it is like <clears throat> things and oh well. Then is it labor pain healings? Is that it? Well, like for the rebirth of learning. Uh, oh, try that. But what do you have that's conducive to that? All right. So because like we have healings, but right. you have it. I have it too. So it's like because you had to do it when you built your website and like yeah. went over here and did firewalking, went over here yeah. and did jewelry, and then so it's all those. Yeah, it's bought like, your house, like yeah. everything. Like it's like I don't have a name for it. I would just kind of like do it and just be like, "All right, we're doing the thing." And oh, gonna... I think you should. I think you should apply it to all those other like, wh- whatever you're applying now to this, apply it to all the previous things so that you can get to where you are n- now. Okay, yeah, copy and paste it to everything. What should we call it for people listening so they can activate their own? I know. Um, for everybody what? to do it for their own, for using their own la- rebirth, rebirth, labor pains, labor pain, rebirth. Yeah, it's got labor pain in it somewhere, but pain aspects. So removal healing, uh, dispersing healing. D- uh, what's it called when you? It's not dispersing. Neutralize. Um, when you um, like spread it, like yes, but with the D word, it's like dispersing, disperse. but it's oh, um, dissipate. Nope, that oh. feels like. Uh, oh my god it must be the name because it's like because yes, it's like distribute <laughs> not yes distribute it's yeah. distribute okay. yes. majority majority yes e distribution yes so, labor okay pain, distribution healing yeah yes all right rebirth labor pain distribution 
All right. Nice. So please apply the root oh, because it is going to have labor pains, but that's okay because it needs to have a little bit. But if yeah. it's distribution, then it's not lopsided. It's kind of like weight and balance. That makes sense. So it's like, it, yeah, it's not going to be like the insane like intensity of like okay give us one more push yeah. it's like it's more like oh shit the baby's here fuck yeah it's like oh okay versus which like, which yeah. when it is right like sometimes before we did this healing even when it was right for us it would fucking hurt but now ever since we did this it was with um when kate was doing the cards is when we had to do this healing because it was so fucking intense and then after that all of a sudden we would just be like like the calendar that came out today we're like hey want to do a calendar let's do a calendar hey look this is as a thing do, 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 do. let's do this why do you want to do the images how does this feel let's do a thing with it let's do da, 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 da. and even with the candles it was just like okay except for like making it making it hurt but right then, like, coming up with the name the images yeah. all of that oh that's so fascinating i love that so all right that's really cool. So yeah, rebirth, labor pains, distribution. And it's so funny because I would have never thought of labor pains because, you know. That's right. Awesome. Neither of you have kids. No, I wouldn't have thought of that. That I know of. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a whore. <laughs> you be slinging Am that I? thing around? Oh my God. Am I? Kate unmasked. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the, the documentary comes cover. out about me. It's like the tablet covers like they have 37 babies. <laughs> like a picture of me. I ain't met one of them. Somehow. Love it. That's awesome. Yeah, it's like very tabloidy. Like, yeah, Octomom. And you never knew it was an Octomom. And you're like, what? Wait, okay, wait. so there's something some about like tabloid and mm-hmm. some kind of. We're doing some Those, kind of like, dealing with this. Those fake scenarios, not for you, but for like anybody listening, those like jokey fake scenarios, that is channeling. That is something. Like whenever you guys, whenever any of you are like, oh my God, that would be so funny. Like sitting around a campfire kind of energy and you just start laughing. It's there. It's, you're, it's there. It's probably a past life or some shit. I also like that you use like sitting around the campfire. Like that was kind oh, of. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, it was on purpose, guys. <laughs> That's Kate's thing. What? Oh. The tongue out and this. And I told her, I told her like last month, I was like, hey, Kate, when you do this, it actually really hurts me because you don't put your hair behind your ear. Okay. I just, I needed to tell you that. And I was like, but it hurts me to put my hair behind my ear. My she's feelers like, go. My feelers go. That's wrong. But <laughs> she's uncomfortable. So I'll leave it alone. Um, so this campfire thing. Sitting around the campfire. What do you need oh, to do it's here? Like because it's sitting around the campfire. It's like when you sit around the camp. Oh, it's like that scary story. Like scary stories to tell in the dark. The dark. It feels very like scary stories to tell in the dark when they go to the campfire. And you something. just pull out a, a tabloid from your back pocket. <laughs> yeah. Shine the shine shit. the flashlight on me. <laughs> All right. 36 children once upon a time there was a woman who once upon a time die. not long ago there was a hoe and she's admitting it she didn't take the shit she did the shit 36 babies and witness it yeah. <laughs> so it's very uh, that it's very that like uh yeah like yeah y'all literally are reading tabloids around a campfire you what do you need to heal about this I don't even know. This has to be like a church camp because it's like yeah, it's very like this is like you shouldn't be reading this stuff. That's like, like why not? Yeah, where did you even get this, Bethel? <laughs> did you say Bethel? Or yes. Bethel? Bethel, where did you even get this, Bethel? Oh my God, they're gonna be so <laughs> upset. I be like, I put it under my Catholic school girl uniform skirt, like it's very, like I snuck it in, like. I was gonna say, like, Mother, whoever the fuck is gonna be so upset. Superior. Yeah. Mother Superior. Superior. Is so upset. Superior. Mother Lake Huron is gonna be so upset. 
Lake Huron. <laughs> I was trying to think of a name, and I was like, you said Superior, and I was like, oh yeah, Lake Superior. <laughs> Mother Lake Huron is gonna be so upset. Mother Lake Superior. <laughs> oh god. She's gonna be so mad right now. <laughs> Okay, we're high on something around the campfire. Oh, yeah. They're also going to be upset about that. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> but we didn't do it on purpose. It's something that's burning in the fire. Mm -hmm. Okay. Three of the nice companies merging with this version may exchange my information with him. Hey, someone put um, Axe Body Spray in the campfire. So this is recent. This is fucking. <laughs> this is recent. <laughs> Yeah, like a can. <laughs> so, I, and that's making us real high, you guys. I'm starting to sweat. Was it me? I don't know. <laughs> I, I <laughs> threw the whole can in and was like... Probably, but like, wouldn't it explode? Yes, yes. it did explode. That and the floor was we're just like... And that was hilarious? Fun. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. We're like, yes. oh my god, and now we're high as fuck. <laughs> Female, why do I have Axe body spray? I just cause you liked it. It looks like. <laughs> oh, did you like to troll people? Like fucking. Oh, it's no. You didn't use it. You didn't use it. I don't know why you. Oh, had I it. probably found it in the woods or something. Yeah. yeah. And I was like fucking litterers and just threw it in the fire. <laughs> That's more like me. Please merge me with this version of me and exchange me information. Don't throw that shit in the fire. It will explode. Uh, <laughs> anyway, look at these fucking tabloids, bitch. Oh, my God. Holy fuck. There's no trash can, and I'm really annoyed, and I don't want to hold it, and I can't put it down because I might forget it. I was going to put it in front of the fire. <laughs> what, if we put it, what if we put it on top of the tabloids that we need to take back with us anyway, and then that way, like, okay. we forget to take it. That's a good idea. Okay. Good looking out. Okay. Yeah. Where did okay. you get these tabloids? Did your fucking older brother give them to you? We are in middle school. Oh, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> Dude, when I was in middle school, I used to sneak my older sister's uh, 17 magazines for the boys so that I would be cool. I'd be like, I got the latest issue for you guys. Oh, yeah. So like their dealer. Be the cool I brought them to be cool. What would that wait? What was Seventeen Magazine do? For it's just a, it. They got to look at girls in bikinis. <laughs> yes, of course. I Absolutely. know what boys like. I know, I know what, what guys like. <laughs> Majority said, "OMG, my friend's brother did this with a tin of beans in our house and it exploded in our living room." Jesus. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, what else do we need to do here? Because we're just, we're chilling, but it's we're having like the best the time. Week. We really are having a really good time. I don't even want to like. I'm like, we could stay here forever. Spirit, please don't do that. I don't like. Yeah. There's nothing to heal here. This is great, except for the axe body spray blowing up. I think that was what it is. Like we didn't need to get high, and we didn't need to throw the. It was on accident. It's not like we tried. This is church camp. Damn it. Did anybody know their way back? Nice, good, please, uh, yeah, I know my way back. Compass. This I, version of me is compass. Back to bounce time working order. I did not. But you're so, with us. Yes, I know. I would have straight <laughs> away. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, well. All that I can think of is that keeps Oh, we need to go back at different times. Or else it looks suspicious. Oh, oh, good idea, fire. Kate. Good idea. Okay. We're supposed to be having a fire in the woods. We're back reading. I'll take my axe woods. body spray trash that I found in the woods don't with forget, me. Don't forget your axe body spray. Hey, don't forget your Seventeen magazine, Jennifer. Yes. Yeah. Oh, your tabloids. Oh yes, yes. Oh, do we have to put the fire out? Yes, I will get that. I don't. You're the fire person. I don't fucking know. I don't yes. build fires. Yeah, we have to make sure that we, like, do fire safety and put the fire out so that, that way it doesn't, like, you know, cause problems. Well, fucking tell me what to do. I don't fucking yeah. know. Uh, water. Where? Um, I got I an empty can of X. Huh? I stamped it out. 
Um, yeah, I'm like looking at the star. It's out. I'm just looking at the stars now, and I'm like mapping them out to go back to the camp. You're like, uh, cat, look behind you. Oh, it's, uh, hey, they'll never notice. You didn't even notice. Let's go. This is very yes. We're going together now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that was fun. Yeah. It was good times. Yeah. The only thing that keeps coming up to my brain, like, it's when you were saying, like, the mother superior. And I was like, and I did the, like, skirt thing. And I was like, I stuck them under my skirt or whatever. It just reminded me of. Your, vi- your vibe in this is the, uh, the Ricky Lake when she plays in Hairspray and she plays in Crybaby and she plays in, in Crybaby. It's her vibe in Crybaby. She's like, what are you talking about? Did, did you ever watch Cry Baby? High school. Yes, I love Oh. <laughs> that was very me in high school. Because in high school, I would say that we had this one nun, Sister Mary Elizabeth, who actually, when you walked down the hallway, she would make you kneel on the ground. And if your skirt didn't touch the ground, then you would get in big trouble. She would give you detentions and shit. So you would roll your skirt you would roll your Mother skirt up, and then when you would walk down the hall, you'd like pull it down really fast so that your skirt <laughs> would be long enough. I asked to see her skirt and she wouldn't let me. No. She loved a bumblebee. She like always wore yellow and black, and so she always looked like some weird bumblebee. It was a whole thing. And she would dye her hair. She was like ten thousand years old, maybe like Sister Mary Elizabeth, what do you use for your hair dye? And she's like, I don't dye my hair. That's a that's God. And I'd be like, but you're like 9,000 years old. Clearly dye your hair. <laughs> okay, it's her, about time. <laughs> it's about time. We gave her, we gave her a nickname because she had never had a nickname ever. She what said was she it? She never had a nickname. And so we called her Smee. <laughs> Sister Mary. Elizabeth. Oh, okay. All right. Mm-hmm. So we'd be like, Smee, what's up? And she was like, and she just looked at us like, she checked less skirts after you gave her a nickname. She did. She looked they like, like me and stuff, is what it feels like. But that just was making that, like, that was bringing that up, which I thought was really funny. That's great. But that's, yeah. We were like, What's your nickname? She's like, I've never had a nickname. We were like, well, we'll give Literally you one. Had one. Literally had one growing up. But I don't know if she liked it or she just, eh, whatever. Yeah. I'm like, no. Okay. That makes right. sense. So she's like, I never had one. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That face she would make too. She would literally make that face all the time. What? I never had one. Like that? Yeah, she'd be like, so she couldn't look at you. Stop it, kitty cats. They're trying to get out, but I don't want them in here to begin with. (laughs) But yeah, like, that was really funny. But that was like the whole thing where it would be like, quick, you're rocking down the hall, pull your skirt down real fast. (laughs) Pull it down way too fast. Yeah, expose your shit. You know, you'd be like really freaked out. Oh, make sure, make sure you don't have your tabloids and your skirt in the hallway. Because if they fall out, you're gonna get in trouble. Oh, real big trouble. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Gotta make sure. Because mm-hmm. you wouldn't be thinking about it. You would see her, and you just pull it down real fast, and then yeah. they would fall on the ground, and you get in a lot they of trouble. Fall. Yep. That'd be a whole thing. That'd be enough. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So for the listeners, um, you can either go to the closing statements in Kat's page or the closing oh. sign-ups on my page. And uh, thank you all. Everyone, that was fun. Thank that you was fun as fuck. That was really fun. Thank you guys oh, so thank much. Thank you. Don't forget Bye. to Bye. I love you. Bye. Book a dual session with Kate and Kat. Visit either of our websites listed in the description of this video. For a spirit guide reading, you can book with Captain Kate at www.captainkate.com. For a one on one trauma healing session with Cat and Boots, you can visit www.catandboots138.com.